Hi, this is Dudley Toroid. Welcome to my channel. This is a really quick project. We have a rotary table and I purchased a forge I chuck off eBay recently. But the mounting plate is different than my rotary table support, so I have to make an, make an adapter, which I did already. I didn't take that part. Um, this is a transfer punch that I'm making out of AT tool steel. And I need it because the chuck I purchased has four holes in it, but they're not equally spaced. So I need to be able to transfer those holes onto the aluminum adapter plate that I've made. Yeah, I know it's a little hard to see, but what I've done here is I set my compound at 30 degrees, sort of like I was threading, and I left a little nib in the center of this piece of 516th A2 steel, and I'm just going to use the compound to go in and cut progressively until I have a relatively sharp point at a total of 60 degrees, 30 degrees off perpendicular. Yeah, I apologize. You really can't see a whole lot here. Uh, when I do the close-up coming up of the heat treating, you'll be able to see that, at least the end result. Sharp. So on to the heat treating process. The A2 tool steel heat treats at about 1750 to 800 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, it can reach a Rockwell hardness of 62 or so. I don't temper it after because I'm really looking for just the tip being very hard. So I uh, use color as an indicator of final temperature and uh, let it air cool. Uh, A2, the A in the air, A2 steel stands for air cool. And this is what I needed the transfer punch for. Those holes that they drilled in this American made chuck are pretty much dead on 516. It's only a tiny bit of clearance, so it fits very snugly. After I transfer the holes, uh, the hole centers, I go over to the lathe and I drill the holes. And next I'll show you the assembly of the final product. I didn't see much point in showing you all the individual. Uh, turning work to make the adapter because it's pretty straightforward. So let's take a look at it. Alright, so let's show how this all goes together. So there are a few mistakes here. So I purchased this arbor. I didn't make it. Although it might be an interesting experiment in the future. It's got 3 8 24 threads. So I made this uh, steel, cold rolled steel slug to match the diameter of this for an alignment so that I wouldn't have to struggle to center this so much. should be within a few thousands each time. Um, pop this guy on here. And drop in some screws. And once I have this on the mill, I can always indicate key it around this to make sure that I've got this centered on the mill. 
Um, there's a little center hole in there. I could probably drop a a uh, point into to get a rough centering. And then got to create an alignment mark between these two. I had one, but it's uh, come off because they must have just rough drilled these holes when they when they built this because when I put pins in to measure the spacing, they are not equidistant. They are sort of close within 60 thousandths, which is really unfortunate. I thought if I bought American Made, it would be a lot closer, but nope. So it only fits one way. Yeah, it took several tries. You can't see it, but I actually have four thumbs. Okay. There it is. And that's the ticket. Okay, so there she blows. Thanks for watching.